Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome if you're new. I am Clover Calypso and my pronouns are she, they. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I want to say thank you so much for all of the support on my last video as well. That was crazy. I was not expecting that at all for my very first YouTube video, but I can honestly say that it really made me want to continue doing it. And I had so much fun with the first one, so I think I will equally enjoy this one. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video today, I want to start off with a couple of announcements. I am working on updating my mic and working on getting a better setup so hopefully I can start sounding a little bit better and the quality can be higher. That is a work in progress for me. Hopefully I can get another monitor so that I can edit videos faster as well. But for now, we are working with minimal cheap equipment and I will be trying to fix that soon. I'm also contemplating on getting a webcam so that I can do streams on Twitch where I draw live with people and also maybe watch animated content and talk about it, talk about some of the things I like about it and just talk all about art and life. Just have cozy streams where we can get to know each other better. Another announcement is that I have another video in the works already, and it is a bit more serious than this one and the last one. It's gonna be about healing from a traumatic past relationship and kind of going through what happened. And it's a really big deal for me to be able to share it publicly. It's, it's going to be a lot. And I hope that whenever it does come out, you are all open to listening. And I hope that it is something that might help if you're going through something similar. But without further ado, today we're gonna to be talking about something very exciting. One of my favorite things to talk about, the ups and downs of dating internationally. Because if you didn't already know, I am dating someone who lives like 3,000 miles away from me. I live in the US and they live in Iceland. So, you know, if you know anything about geography, you'll know that's pretty far. Let's get into it. I am gonna go ahead and start off with some of the downsides of dealing with long distance relationships and how it can negatively impact some things about a relationship. But don't worry, it's definitely not all bad. Just I'm gonna start off with the bad so that we can end on a better note. One of the things that's gonna be an obvious downside is the distance and the time spent apart. That can be really hard. You know, you spend a lot of nights missing each other and watching other couples together and thinking about how it must be so nice to get to spend that much time together that often. I often catch myself thinking that I hope they understand how lucky they are to be able to be together so often. Another thing that can happen sometimes is falling into a pit of worry about what someone else is doing while you're away um, or while you're apart because whenever you live so far away from each other, it's really, really easy to worry that someone might be doing something behind your back, especially whenever you've gone through that in the past, which in my case I have, sadly. But yeah, it's, it's really easy to get carried away in your head thinking about how it would be easy for someone to lie to you because at the end of the day, there's no way you would really know. Another thing that makes it a bit difficult can be cultural differences. Although I wouldn't necessarily call that a bad thing, it can definitely make some parts of communication kind of confusing. And sometimes there are things that get lost in communication with each other. The time difference can make it really hard to maintain a proper sleeping schedule and have time to talk when you want to. A lot of the times we struggle with making time for each other whenever we have other things that we need to get done, jobs, friends that want to hang out. Whenever you have a five, six hour difference, it's hard to get your plans right. 
A lot of the times it's hard to sync up your schedules together whenever you have a large amount of hours of difference in time. One of the other downsides I can think of is only being able to do things together if it's through the internet. It's not like we can really go to dinner or a movie together. We can't go shopping together or cook together. We can't hang out with people. We can only really do what we are limited to on a screen on Discord, on Instagram. We can video chat and we can screen share and we can play games together. But there are a lot of things that couples do that we don't get to do because we are so far away from each other. And sometimes that can be hard, but it definitely isn't something I would consider a full downside, if you understand what I mean. I think the hardest part about long distance, at least for me, is saying goodbye after a visit. We typically have longer visits and so it gives us time to get used to the other's presence and right whenever we get used to our partner being there, we have to leave each other. And We've only visited twice so far, but I can definitely say that those two times broke my heart. Even though it's, it's really hard to say goodbye, I can definitely say that it is worth the goodbyes. Now that the downsides are out of the way, I think it's time to get into the upsides. I am a big advocate for long distance relationships. I really support it. I think it's a great way to start getting to know someone if you're ready for that kind of commitment, if you're ready for the challenges that come with it and you've thought it through and you're ready to commit to working on that relationship with someone, I think it's a really, really great thing. So even though visiting back and forth is hard in some ways, it also gives you a lot of opportunities to have exciting, meaningful experiences together. And I would argue that it actually gives you more opportunities for more colorful memories. I can definitely say that because of the distance, it has made every single moment that we have spent together a lot more meaningful. I catch myself trying to remember those moments a lot more and they are a lot more intact in my head than most of my other memories from my life. Another fun thing about dating internationally is that you get to travel to another place where you learn about a different culture and I think that helps you grow as a person in a lot of ways, especially being an American and going to another country. I think it's very, very different because in America, they don't really teach you a whole lot about other places as much as they teach you about where you are. And so the first time I ever left, it was just such an eye-opening and incredible experience. I'm really thankful that I have the opportunity to do that because I know not everyone does and I'm definitely not blind to the privilege that it is to travel outside of the US and, and see new places and meet new people and be exposed to different cultures. It's one of the greatest joys of my life thus far and I would not trade it for anything. Another upside is you know for a fact that what you love most about this person is their personality and having that physical separation makes it pretty clear that it's not the only thing going for you in the relationship. Whenever you have to be separated from someone for long periods of time and that bond is still so strong regardless of how far away you are from that other person and regardless of the lack of touch and, and physicality in the relationship, it doesn't matter because you know that there is that foundation of love and you know your relationship isn't just based off of anything physical. It's definitely something deeper if it can withstand all of that time and all of that distance. It also helps build up an immense amount of trust over time, at least I think so, and I kind of see it as building muscle up around your relationship. If you get hit with really hard times and you already know you can make it through tough situations together, it really makes it easier to believe in yourself and in your partner and in your relationship together. Each day is like a rep. It builds up your, your strength for the next day coming. And I think that's a really, really great thing about dating long distance. It shows that you're willing to sacrifice for the other person. I think a lot of the time when you get into relationships with people, you can find yourself wondering if they would go through hardships for you 
Not that you would want them to, but there are always going to be times in relationships where you're going to have to sacrifice. And I know, at least in my experience, there have been times where I have wondered if people I have dated would go through hardships for me. And whenever you date someone internationally or just even in the nation, sometimes places are so big that being in the same country is still extremely far away. And I think sometimes that really shows that that person would go through almost anything for you. And it's kind of comforting in a strange way whenever you think about it like that. It gives you a lot of opportunities to be creative with gifts. I absolutely love putting together gifts and sending them across the world. I love putting thought into what my partner would want, what they would like. I like finding lots of cool things to put in the box and like adding little notes. And there's so many fun opportunities. And I know that you can also do that in person, but I think it's just like the added fun of waiting for it to get there, waiting for them to tell me that they got the package and just, I don't know, it's just really, really fun. One of the biggest things though, is that I think you prove to yourself that you're capable of doing hard things and it helps you grow as an individual as well as it helps you both grow together. I at least know from my experience that after I went all the way across the world by myself and came back home and I paid for all of it and I planned all of it and I did it all by myself, it really made me believe in myself more. I showed myself that I'm capable of doing great things and my partner also tells me that all the time and whenever we worked together to make these trips happen it really showed us that we're capable of awesome things whether it's together or separate we really support each other as individuals and i think that's one of the most important things in a relationship is you can need each other but you should also support each other as individual people and see each other as individual people starting off with a good foundation of friendship before anything else is also something that's been key to our relationship together and i'm really thankful that we have that now that I've kind of gotten my points out of the way and I've talked a bit about how I see the situation, I think it might be appropriate to ask my partner Eli how they see our relationship and their upsides and downsides. Hello. 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 I am Hello, Eli. Eli. Hello, Eli. Hello, I am Eli. Uh, I use they, them pronouns and I am Clover Calypso's partner from Island. Island, Island, Island. It is real. The land of ice. I am from Iceland. Yes. Dating long. Long dating. <laughs> dating very long. Far away. You're so good. Very bad. <laughs> I wanted to ask you personally, I wanted to ask you what your opinion is on it. I mean, I would assume it would be good. Um, <laughs> I figured I would ask anyway. And like, what do you consider to be like some upsides or maybe some downsides? Of course, I feel like the most obvious downside of not being able to spend actual time together within the same physical space because you're limited to only conversation. Oh no, talking oh to God. people. I hate that. God, horrible. Imagine having to just talk to someone you love and that's yeah. all you have that would be so awful imagine having to make like a podcast type youtube video like yeah. just talking Ugh. imagine that's that's really cringe yeah. actually i'm glad that neither of us would ever do anything like that yeah, that'd, that'd be awful. So, so you say that the biggest downside is not being able to spend time together. Are there any other ones that you have noticed? Because I know we've been together for like almost a year and a half now. And I would think that some of the pitfalls would definitely have shown themselves at this point. Yeah. So I mean, of course, when you are not in the same physical space, there's so much removed from it. And not just hanging out, but doing stuff that you would do with people that you're close with. Like right. going out to the store together or or like cooking together or eating together or running errands yeah running errands or just hanging out with other friends as well it's just a whole different realm of interaction i agree it's a bit hard to like connect in those ways and the visits make up for it but it's definitely not there most of the time and it's difficult to like figure out ways to make up for that but i would say that there are a lot of ways we do make up for that i would even argue that those ways can make it better if that makes sense 
sense in, in some aspects of a relationship. Yeah, I think the time spent apart makes it so much more satisfying whenever you're actually together that I think you appreciate right. it so much more than any regular old couple would. So the time that we do get to spend together is a lot more satisfying, you oh, yeah. would say. Why is that? Because it's finite. We don't get that all the time. It's not something that you should take for granted because it's way more of a struggle to actually be able to get to that place whenever right. you're physically in the same space. Yeah, I agree. I, I definitely think that it does make every second count. And oh, yeah. I think that is kind of part of the magic of it. And I think another part of the magic of it, which I brought up before, is that we come from such different backgrounds and like we have such a different experience growing up. And yeah. I think that really makes for a more enriching experience. Yeah, I sound I like I'm talking about like a freaking <laughs> class for children or something like that. But <laughs> yeah, I definitely agree. I think it's the fact that we are from two completely separate parts of the world that we both grow much more as people by interacting oh, with yeah. each other. No matter how far away someone lives or like how different you think they are from you or how different yep. their culture is from yours, you're really not very different at all at the core yeah. of it. We're all people at the end of the day. Any closing thoughts? Um, I have a closing thought. What's up? I love you. <laughs> Good one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and maybe leave me a little comment down below talking about some experience that you've had that's similar or just your own experience in relationships. If you disagree with some of the points I made, you can let me know. I would love to hear about your experiences when it comes to these sorts of things because I know everyone has a different opinion and I just love hearing what people have to say. Before I leave, I just want to let you know that I'm gonna try to upload twice a month and it's going to be a process because I'm pretty new to this and I'm still nervous recording and making videos and sharing more intimate parts of my life with others. But it's something that I think is helping me and something that I definitely look forward to doing more often. And I hope that you will come along with me on this journey of sharing who I am. And I hope that I can learn more about all of you as well. Thank you so much for all the support and I will see you next time.